¿Podrías explicarme cuál es la relación entre acumulación de capital y desigualdad? Sure, I argue that we need first to introduce a new inequality concept that I labeled compositional inequality. Assume we have an economy composed by two individuals, a poor and a rich person. I'm here focusing on capital and labor income solely. We can think of three possible societies. Society number one, an economy in which the poor person earns exclusively from labor and the rich person earns exclusively from capital. The level of income inequality stays the same, but the composition of income between rich and poor is completely different. Therefore, have a society with high compositional inequality. And this society can also be called classical capitalism. Society number two, characterized by the two individuals earning at the same time capital and labor incomes. This implies that these two individuals are simultaneously capitalists and workers. In this case, we have compositional equality, and we can call this economic system new capitalism, as this is something that we haven't seen in the past. Now, there's also a third economic system in which the poor earn from capital and the rich earn from labor. While this society doesn't match what we know from real economy, it is still a theoretical possibility, but we can call it anti-classical capitalism. Now, now, how does this inequality concept relate to the relationship between capital accumulation in the economy and income inequality? Under classical capitalism, an increase in the capital share of income implies an increase in income inequality, and therefore an increase in capital in the economy implies an increase in the income of the rich. In new capitalism, an increase in the capital share implies that inequality remains unaffected because both individuals see their capital income increasing in a proportional way. If we were in a situation of compositional equality, this rise of the capital share would not translate into higher interpersonal inequality. Muchas gracias por la explicación. Gracias a ustedes.